long weekend. Long weekend. To Steen Hatchie. Steen Hatchie. It just sounds like a cool place. Steen Hatchie. Right? Um, it's a couple hours north of Tampa. Yep. Um, it's kind of in the uh, where Florida bends and starts heading west. Yeah, right kind of up in the general area. Yep. It's uh, known for its fishing and scalloping. Scallop. And it's still scalloping season. We're so The end of scallop season. So it's now or never. <laughs> so that's what we're going to go do is yes. some fishing and scalloping. And we've always wanted to go to Steen Hatchie, so we're looking forward to going to an old Florida town and just kind of relaxing and slowing down a little bit and yeah. seeing an old town. First we got to drop off these crazy dogs behind us. Once again, Skyler the Adventure Dog is not having an adventure. Well, hey, at least with us. She loves her, her uh, boarding, boarding place, her yep. daycare place, but um, we are actually staying in a hotel this time because we brought our Kinu Mac. Yes. So uh, she is not allowed in the hotel. Wow. But uh, we got the other dog too with us and uh, she's going to go get dropped off as well. Yes. So if so, you hear all that panting in the back, that's her. It's not me. <laughs> she's old. She's, I am old, but I'm, I don't pant. <laughs> so. so we'll see you guys when we get up there. All right. Come on, guys. <laughs> Bye, guys. So during our long drive, we decided we needed to stop food. for food. If you watch the videos, <laughs> food is important to us. So we, uh, we stopped at this uh, in Hernando Beach and we're at this marina and there's a little restaurant called Tropical that? Grill, they Hernando Beach. Big Tiki Hut. And uh, we love these quaint little Florida towns. Yeah. This, this weekend might be all about little Florida towns and, and food. food. <laughs> Lobster rolls today for lunch. And we are staying at the Good Times Motel and Marina. We're gonna get checked in. All right, they've put us in room four, which is a king room. Let's see if I can get this. Fancy room for the night. We do have a fridge though, so that's kind of handy. Put the fishing poles on the bed. There you go. You're gonna unload the truck or the boat. Yes. <laughs> All right. At the end of the road from the hotel is Jenna Boat Ramp, and that's where we are launching the boat. And then the reason, one of the reasons why we picked that hotel is because it has boat slips. It has like 49 boat slips. So we'll put in the water here and drive it around the corner. All right, we got the boat all tied off to the dock. We've got our fancy uh, fenders. fenders that Joel made. Oh, yeah. and they're gonna keep this boat protected from the side of the dock. All right, after a little nap. I took a nap, it was I great. Can't, I can't nap, but I sat oh. there on my phone and <laughs> let him nap. I napped. <laughs> I've got bed head now. <laughs> so we are at Fiddler's Restaurant mm -hmm. for dinner. Yeah. And it's, it's supposed to be right on the river. It smells so. great, it smells like Old Bay. I can smell it right now. It's a lot of seafood restaurants mm -hmm. here, um, but not a lot of actual restaurants. I mean, right. there's only a handful in this little yeah, bitty. Yeah, two or three, I mean, not a lot. Little bitty Florida town. It's awesome. Love it. What do you think? Menu looks good. It's a huge menu. It is. It is. We gotta figure out what we're gonna eat. Hush puppies. Oh, hush puppies, he says. Yes. Yeah. So there's a band over there that's gonna start a little bit later. All right. I'm hungry. <laughs> dinner was very good so very full, full. <laughs> yeah. so we just checked on the boat and everything looks good down there it's still floating <laughs> it is they do have floating docks yeah so, which is nice which is really nice yep. yeah so we're gonna go hang out in the room for a little bit and get to bed early and we will uh call it a night and see everybody yes. in the morning all right guys have a good night good morning good morning everybody we came out to get some breakfast sandwiches. We're eating again. <laughs> and uh, also some sandwiches to take on 
the boat. Some box lunches mm -hmm. they sell here at McDavid's. Yes. Supposedly this is the place for breakfast, so we're just grabbing it to go, but... Speaking of to going, we're going. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hi. I'm waiting for our food. Did we we ordered a box lunch, didn't we? We did. Yeah, so they have box lunches. It's two sandwiches and a bunch of other stuff. Yes, there it is. <laughs> All right, boat is loaded up. Joel's gonna get us off the dock here. It is a nice Calm it's beautiful. morning. Yes, it's hot, but it's calm, so that's great. All right, we have launched, and uh, we're actually going to follow these guys out that were scalloping yesterday. But they're on a much bigger boat than we are, so <laughs> we may not uh, be every, able to keep every up. Every boat is bigger than yeah, our boat. That's true. That's true. But we're going to try to keep up. jump off first to see if he finds any. Alright, that spot wasn't good. Nope. No. <laughs> we were only there a few minutes, but we're gonna move along. Okay, we found a spot. Not sure if this is gonna be any good, but we will found a couple of them. Oh yeah, they're big ones here. Alright, I'm going in. Kinu is kind of hard to get in a, a little challenging or to, to get, get in, in. Yeah. There's no ladder. So we have this tow rope. It's a ski rope. Ski rope. And it's really this part's really rigid. And we it's a multi-sectional ski rope. And we wrap it around the pulling platform. Yep. The carabiner. And it's in the water. And then that's what he will yeah, use for his foot. That's his step. All right. Let's see this. It's not so um, talented when I'm doing it. <laughs> You make it look so easy. Right? But well, yeah. that's how you get into a, a Ginu. At least our way. It's our way. <laughs> it's our way. Everybody has their own way. Yes. All right, we were out there, I don't know, Fun. hour, hour and a half. And this is the difference. Amy's haul. That's mine. Joel's haul. <laughs> <laughs> However, I must admit, 
I did get a bunch of scallops and some of these little beer cans. Aw, well, that's good that you got that out of the water. Yeah, yeah. So, sometimes they just don't want to come out. <laughs> Now that we got our limit for scallops, we are going to find the sandbar. It's a big grassy island. All right, we've arrived at the sandbar. This looks like heaven. Joel's gonna stake us out with his eight foot pole in our one foot of water. <laughs> Joel's got his buff on because our umbrellas, we forgot a pole. Every time. <laughs> we always forget something with that umbrella. <laughs> but look at our beautiful boat. We love we our Ginu. Getting on the sandbar, no problem. That's the best part right there. Right? Did you guys yeah. see our sticker? Woo, I stepped in the hole. First day adventures. There you go. All right, we're gonna get some lunch out and enjoy right. this warm water. Okay, remember how we told you that we got these this bag lunch? Or a box lunch, but it came in a bag. <laughs> they call it a boat bag. There you go. So we have, two for $14, sandwiches. we got two turkey sandwiches. Some crackers. Some potato chips. chips. Some cookies. I got some cookies. That, and a bunch of condiments. There you go. Awesome. Perfect. That's just what we need. All right, Amy is absolutely in heaven. This is my favorite thing to do, is she sit loves... in the water with a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> On a sandbar. <laughs> Literally, sandbar. this is like heaven for her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, we got Mac, we got a sandbar. It's only about two feet deep. I'm on my knees, oh, so it's a little deeper, but... Perfect. Mm -hmm. If only we had an umbrella. <laughs> or floaty things. We or, didn't bring oh, any floaty because nope. we didn't know we were coming to a sandbar, nope. so... Well, icing on the cake. Mm-hmm. We got some thunder in the background, but very dark that way. Uh, a little dark that way. Dark. I don't know. But I'm feeling a little warm, so time for the Nestle plunge. <laughs> the Nestle plunge. You remember that? Oh, what is that? You gotta be. You gotta be old. All right. The Nestle plunge. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> you feel better? It's very salty. <laughs> For the day, one more time scalloping. There we go. Stake up holes in. All right, let's do it. I'm looking for it. <laughs> the water's crystal clear now. Crystal clear and it's really shallow. Let's do it. It's gonna take us three minutes to get one gallon. <laughs> Stay alive until we can clean you. <laughs> that was a great day on the boat. Holy cow. I mean, literally perfect. The water's it's so flat. calm now. So we're going to go head on in and uh, we're gonna find. Good. I was going to say probably take a nap. Well, oh, yes. find someone to clean these scallops for us. Yeah, we don't want to do that ourselves this time. So. <laughs> so there's some names up there to call. So for $10 a gallon, they'll do it for us. So perfect. Uh, when we're on vacation, not near home, it's probably best to do it that way. And then a nap. Yes. <laughs> All right, 
Okay, cool. So we did find somebody. Here, let me hold your ice cream. Look, we got ice cream. Mm-hmm. Got a big bag of ice. Holy smack on it. Got some ice because we do have somebody to uh, clean our scallops for us. Yes. But first, we had to get ice cream from the shop. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do this, Amy. You have to hold my ice cream for me. All right. Some big scallops. Typical scallop. Uh -huh. The scallops we found. Mega scallops. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Tanya. She's gonna. She's the expert uh, <laughs> scallop cleaner. Much faster and better than we did last time. <laughs> All right. That's nice. <laughs> Joel found a little boat washing area. We like this resort. Ah! <laughs> oh, that feels good, actually. <laughs> All right, we're on the way to dinner, and Amy's a little self-conscious because she has a tan line. Look at that tan line. Uh so when you're snorkeling, you want to wear a shirt so your back doesn't get tan. But I didn't wear a long sleeve. I wore a short sleeve, and I didn't look, think about. Uh, <laughs> uh, you look... I... What? I look what? You beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so we are going to Houdat Grill and Bar. Houdat Grill and Bar. By the way, your face is a little red too. I know it is. <laughs> It is time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Hasta luego. <laughs> so, so we had a great time here in Steenhatchee. Yeah, Steenhatchee's great. It's an old Florida town and uh, it's just super quaint and very nice. Yeah, slow moving. We got some boating in today yep. and the sandbar. And sandbar and some serious scalloping. The big mega scallops. Big scallops. Those were good. Big scallops. Can't wait to get home to cook them. Oh, no. I forgot about that part. <laughs> So, yeah. so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed our adventure here. Yeah, we did. And if you did, please subscribe. Yep. <laughs> and notifications and all that stuff. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> like and comment. And uh, we'll catch you on our next adventure. All right, thanks for coming along, guys. All right, bye. Okay, little snafu on the way home. We're about an hour from home and we got a flat tire. Put air in it and it seems to be coming out of the, what's that called? Stem. The stem. I'm sweating. <laughs> this stinks. I'm just glad that Joel's handy, knows how to do this. <laughs> very thankful for you, Joel. I'm very thankful for you, Amy. <laughs>